The verdant mountain forest is refreshing, but a killer has silently infiltrated, bit by bit, devouring the green. In 1985, in the Liuzhou Pine Forest in Sherman Township, New Taipei City, trees were found dead due to an unknown cause. Shortly afterward, the dead pine trees began to spread. As it turns out, the pine trees were infected with pine wilt disease caused by the pine wood nematodes. This type of disease had never occurred before in Taiwan, so the source was assumed to be foreign. In fact, the pinewood nematodes originated in North America. It spread to Japan and caused deaths of pine trees there before it was verified by Japanese plant pathologists as the cause of pine wilt disease. The pinewood nematodes then spread from Japan to Korea, China, and Taiwan, causing severe forest diseases that are hard to prevent. The pinewood nematodes grow extremely fast. In pine trees infected with pine wilt disease, the pinewood nematodes reproduce en masse in the sap wood and cause embolisms in conducting tissues, blocking water transport. The pine tree will eventually die from being unable to absorb water. The pinewood nematodes do not have the ability to actively infect pine trees. They must rely on the Japanese pine sawyer, a longhorn beetle, for transmission. A Japanese pine sawyer carrying pinewood nematodes would fly into a healthy pine tree and begin feeding on pine needles and twigs. The pinewood nematodes would enter the tree through the bite wounds inflicted by the beetle and begin mass reproduction. It doesn't take long for symptoms to appear in the pine tree. The pine needles begin turning yellow and red and finally the entire tree withers. For severely injured pine trees, it only takes two to three months from pine needle yellowing to the entire tree withering. Japanese pine sawyers that are about to lay eggs are attracted by the scent of newly withered pine trees and will fly over to lay eggs. They will bite a hole in the bark and then lay eggs under the bark. Once the eggs hatch, the larvae will feed on the phloem and will chew into the xylem, forming tunnels so they can move under the bark. As the larvae grow, the holes in the xylem also grow and finally form a pupal chamber. The larvae hibernate in the pupal chamber during the winter. When Japanese pine sawyers pupate the following spring, Pinewood nematodes in the pine tree will gather around the pupal chamber and enter the beetle through the breathing tube as it emerges, turning the beetles into new carriers. After the beetle emerges, it will chew through the pupal chamber and bark to fly out. When these beetles carrying pinewood nematodes search around for pine trees for food, they will infect other healthy pine trees. As these beetles spread, pine wilt disease also spreads. To diagnose the cause of death of pine trees, investigators will cut samples of infected branches and take them back to the laboratory to test using the Behrman funnel method. The sample is observed under a dissecting microscope to verify if there are a large number of nematodes and then experts determine if they are pinewood nematodes based on appearance. There is now a testing instrument that makes this process easier through molecular biology. By extracting the nematode's DNA for a polymerase chain reaction, PCR, electrophoresis, and gel imaging. In an infected forest, the presence of holes for laying eggs tunnels, and emergence holes on withered trees can be used to determine if there is a Japanese pine sawyer, which helps in making a diagnosis. Pinewood nematodes are the pathogen that causes pine wilt disease, 
and are vectored by Japanese pine sawyer. Therefore, the prevention of pine wilt disease can be divided into blocking Japanese pine sawyers and exterminating pinewood nematodes. The most common method used in Taiwan is blocking the source of infection, meaning that around February each year, when the temperature is relatively low, before Japanese pine sawyers emerge, dead trees are chopped down and moved out of the forest, and then burned in an open space or incinerator to prevent the beetles from spreading the disease. Also, burying or chipping the pine wood with machinery can also achieve the same effect. If dead trees cannot be moved out of the forest, they are cut into a suitable length after being chopped down, piled together, and covered with a plastic sheet to prevent beetles from flying out after emergence. Fumigants can also be used for better results. If the control method is to exterminate pinewood nematodes, then a nematicide is directly injected into the trunks to kill the nematodes and let the pine tree return to health. However, it is hard to use the trunk injection method for large areas, and the effects of using the method in Taiwan are still being evaluated. From the perspective of forest management, planting pine trees in low-altitude mountain areas does not provide much economic value or ecological benefit. So if a large area of pine trees is infected with pine wilt disease, native tree species can be used for reforestation, such as Taiwan incense cedar. If it is not an economic forest, or there are no concerns regarding water and soil conservation, then there is nothing wrong with letting the forest self-restore. Pinewood nematodes are an invasive species that have caused severe damage in the past, injuring a large number of forest trees. This also made us understand the importance of inspecting imported and exported wood materials. Even though Taiwan implemented many control measures for pine wilt disease over the years, pine wilt disease still occurs occasionally in various places. Hence, if you discover a withering pine tree, please report it on the website of the Forest Disease Information Center. We hope everyone will come together to protect pine tree forests and help keep pinewood nematodes under control.